<laughs> I'm Katsuri, and um, sorry for my little scratchy voice here, but um, I've been having a <laughs> an interesting week. Just came home from a festival. Um, so as you can see, this here is this Chris Hill's big cherry came orchestral soundtrack. This here is the LP action. This here is a Kickstarter. I got this here uh, last week while I was away, came home, and I think this here deserves a uh, Unboxing, in my opinion. Um, so let's actually go through this here. So this here is the official Turkey Cane poster you have on the, on the front here. You have on, uh, as you can see here, the sides. Some nice, interesting stuff here. Just classic Chris Yule spec. I think we also have this here on this here side, so you can prop it up no matter what. And also on top here you will have to turn a little bit around so if you want to keep this a box like this here you can actually go ahead and slide it down or or have it in your collection on a, on a shelf or whatever you have your lp collection or vinyl collection on so that's good so at the back it's pretty much a classic so classic on this here is the star map but uh, which is where you see the turret cane actually rising up, uh, uh, demanding revenge, and trying to kill uh, this here uh, opponent he's against. This here is, of course, an old school Commodore 64 game, which level five actually created, and Chris Hulsbeck was actually the music composer on this year. And uh, you can see all the details here. This here is from 2017, 2018. So this here is the production. It has been a long time coming, uh, but I have always had faith in Chris and uh, delivering uh, his Kickstarter promises, so it just takes some time. This here is number 230 out of a thousand of prints. These here are limited editions. You will not be able to buy this here in any form or way uh, uh, when the Kickstarter is over. So let us actually open this here up. I do not own a vinyl player. I do not normally collect vinyls, but this here I thought would be a nice addition because I am a big fan of Chris's uh, stuff. I've actually backed all his Kickstarters. And yeah, it's just something really cool. And it wasn't that expensive in my opinion. So let's go ahead and check this here out. So this here is not like what you normally a slide through or a side slide. This here is actually a box in itself. So you will just prop it nice and easy up and you will get your stuff so let's go here this here is nice cardboard purple as you can see nothing special in here we will prop this here up right here you get of course a orchestral selection feature in project or a fundraising project you get a signature of chris and a special thanks from him and this here is of course the villain you're up against. Nice postcard stuff and all the information here. Next thing here is, this here is the official pixel art from some of the first games here. We get some nice high quality pictures of this here. This here is Rise of the Machine. I do think this here is actually Turricane 2 because that is actually the first time I remember you seeing uh, one of the few people from, and you see it is from the Castle Selection. And we see the villain who is trying to conquer the universe and you are trying to stop him through it. And again, so back. You see the hero in the full hurricane suit. It's not level five, it's actually factor five. I constantly forget that, but <laughs> always good to <laughs> correct yourself uh, during the middle. And then you have, of course, the zero is normally how you would see the the vinyl of, uh, um, cover in itself, but this here is in a box. And this is one of the reasons why I chose this here, because it comes with 
the CD also. So it's a double feature. So you have some nice foam here to keep everything steady. And now I think what we are going to do is we're going to put these here back with this here. We're going to take this here away. We're going to take a look at this here. So let's see if we can get anything. So you have Chris here in the studio. You have this here is a uh, two uh, uh, two uh, vinyl uh, selection with uh, both sides A and B. You have on the back here pretty much the same covers here. You have your credits here. We can go ahead and slide everything out. Uh, let us take a look at the vinyl here. Get it out, it's pretty stuck here. Oh, this here. Uh, okay. Sometimes these here vinyls can be pretty firm, but it also we, you need, we need to remember this here is meant so. It's it is not meant to just drop out of a whim, but uh, let us go ahead. So this here is pretty thick vinyl. It's been a long time since I had a vinyl uh, in my hands, but there's no um, markings. Like if you remember when I uh, unboxed the Nino Cooney, the vinyl was actually printed on. This here is pretty classic. You have pretty much the same as the disc itself, A and B, and I'm guessing we also will see the same thing on the other disc or vinyl. And we are going to slide this here nice and easy. And we're going to take the other one out. It makes it a little bit more simple. Bring it fully folded out. Yes, we see it here. A nice two disc, two vinyl. Constantly call them disc, but it's actually a vinyl. So, and let's slide everything back. And I think I'm going to make sure this is done correctly. So that is pretty much it. Now, the last thing we're going to take a look at is, of course, the CD. And let us focus a little bit on this. Now this here is, of course, on. Ooh, is it a two disc? Yes, it is. So this here is a two disc. And let us actually see if we cannot go ahead and do some great stuff here. So let us go ahead and try and get this here. Now, see, this here is where you would need. I think I can do it without doing anything to damage it because you do need to actually lift it up to get it out. So we're seeing here the cover in itself. And so just the information from Shoot or Die, which is one of the one of the songs, Techno Dungeon, etc. You see some of the studio information or some of the studio um, uh, photos from the studio where they shot it in. It was in Germany. I cannot remember the name of the orchestra he used or he collaborated with, I should rather say. We have both discs, as you can see, black with, it's a little bit different from uh, from the two vinyls, but uh, this here is what's printed on, the second one is here, and there we have the back cover. 
So let us put everything back in order. So this here is, again, a, a little bit of a treat to me. Uh, I, I really, uh, I love uh, chiptune music in general. Uh, people need to remember that chiptune started specifically, or one of the things, one of the, the chip itself, that brought all the chiptunes to life um, was actually for the Commodore 64 was the SID, uh, the SID chip, which was integrated into the 64 system. And uh, people haven't really been able to replicate this year, uh, this year's song or sound. And that's why the, the chip in itself, there's a lot of uh, synthesizers out there that actually have the audio chip integrated into systems. And a lot of people actually use this here. Some people also use Game Boys and stuff like that, but the original thing from at least what I've uh, found on it, it was actually the C64 to start it all. Uh, chip tunes in general. But you can use pretty much any chip from back of the old school stuff, the Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, the Super Nintendo, all had great sound, but in my opinion, the C64 in, in general was, was the superior one. But yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this year unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, check out Chris's uh, uh, Patreon, uh, where he actually uh, shares a lot of great stuff there and you can back it if you want to. I'm not a backer in, in myself, but I do keep an eye out when he posts specifically Kickstarter stuff. So yeah, until next time, bye.